Hey everybody, I'm Diane Gale and welcome to my channel, Sustainable Slow Living. Fall is here and one of my favorite things to make in the fall is carrot ginger soup. This soup is crazy easy to make. We're going to make it together today, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is turn on our Dutch oven. You can use any soup pan that you have. I like to use my Dutch oven for just about everything. I'm going to heat it up. You want to get it kind of nice and hot and then turn the heat down. But um, So right now I'm going to put it on medium high and then I'm going to put about two tablespoons of oil in the Dutch oven. I use an olive oil for this recipe. You can use your favorite oil, whatever that is. So we're going to want to start cooking our vegetables in this oil. I have one pound of carrots peeled and chopped here. It's a rough chop because in the end we're going to blend this together with an immersion blender. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all of those carrots in here. And then I am going to follow that up with one um, medium sized yellow onion that I have also rough chopped. You can use any onion that you like. Um, I like the, the yellow onion and most of it is about the color of my soup when I'm done. And then I have three stalks of celery, also rough chopped, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put those in there as well. Once you have all of your veggies in your pot, you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to put your seasoning in there so that the seasoning cooks into the vegetables. So this is starting to sizzle. I'm going to turn it down a little while we get that seasoning in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt. I am using real salt today. You can use your favorite salt, but I recommend that you use a high quality salt of some sort and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a generous pinch of pepper. Uh, maybe two generous pinches of pepper. I like pepper a lot. I'm going to throw in one full teaspoon of freshly grated ginger and then I'm going to take three garlic cloves. These are uh, small, maybe medium garlic cloves, and I'm going to get them in the pot. I like to use a garlic press if you have one, they're fabulous. If you don't have one, you can absolutely mince this garlic by hand. You get this whole thing in here. Perfect. And then we should give this a stir also sounds like it's starting to cook a little fast. Once you have everything in your pot, you're going to want to let it cook down until those veggies are pretty tender. Um, they don't have to be completely tender because we're going to add broth to it and we're going to cook it down some more. But you want to cook them down a little bit to let the flavors of the seasoning and the veggies marry together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that and I'll be back with you in a little bit when it's time to add the broth. All right, you guys, I want to bring you in and I want to show you what's going on in this pot. And everything is starting to look pretty tender. So I'm going to start to add some vegetable broth. Now I've made up about six cups of vegetable broth and I am not sure how much it's going to take. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start to add some. And you're going to want to add it, you know, just until you start to cover your veggies. About like that, right? So you've just got them covered. And then you're going to want to let it cook down. So I think I probably just put about half of that vegetable broth in there. And it may be enough to finish off the recipe, but I have extra here. So once we blend this together later, if it is not enough, then I have some more that I can go ahead and I can add. 
and if I don't add it, that's fine. I'll just use it to cook some veggies for dinner one night this week, and that will be delicious. I have a bay leaf here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in now that the broth is in here so that that can kind of cook into, um, into the soup as well, you know, get the flavor of the bay leaf in there. I've turned this up. I'm going to bring it to a low simmer, and then I'm going to turn it down, and I'm going to simmer it for probably about 15 minutes um, until all of those carrots are nice and tender. All right, so here it is. It is hot and steamy. I have taken one of the biggest carrots out and tested it, and it's nice and soft. I've wiggled things around so that my bay leaf is kind of on top so that I can just pull it out. And then I'm gonna take this immersion blender and I'm gonna blend this up, and hopefully it is going to be nice and thick and creamy and it's definitely going to be delicious. There it is, you guys. It is delicious carrot ginger soup. The smell is divine. We need to get some of this in a bowl and give it a try. That looks amazing. I have left a little bit of texture. Now you can do this any way that you want. You can blend this down until it's super creamy and there's no texture left. I have left tiny little chunks of carrot and onion and celery in there, just a little bit of texture because that's how I like mine. And FYI for you, um, I know I usually always wear an apron. For some reason today I wasn't. I had to put one on because this kind of splashes when you um, blend it with the immersion blender. So you're gonna wanna have an apron or something on to protect your clothing. Also, I adore topping this soup with some sour cream, but I just went to my fridge to get sour cream, and it's bad. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on here because I'm gonna need a little bit of color for the pictures. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of parsley on top of that. Again, this is all about the color, and it'll be delicious, but if you have some sour cream, I say go for the sour cream. I'm not getting what I want there. There we go. And um, I think I might put just a couple crushed red peppers on there too. And then I'm gonna get a picture and then you and I are gonna have a bite. All right, I can't wait to have a bite. This is a great dish for the fall. This is a great dish for the winter as well. This is, um, very healthy, very inexpensive dish, and I am very, very hungry because I have not eaten yet today, and it's like 12.30 or something. Um, I did have a pickled egg, which is, is um, an amazing hold me over protein snack, and I did a video for those not too long ago, so you can look back through the channel and make those. They're really simple. I did them the way my grandma made them, but for now, Let's get a bite of this amazing carrot ginger soup. Mm. So very good. Mm. And the mozzarella and the red pepper are actually a really nice addition. Although, go for the sour cream, you guys. I love the sour cream. This is a great soup. I hope that you are going to make yourself some carrot ginger soup. I hope that you are going to enjoy every single bite. And as always, thank you so very much for being here with me today. You and I are going to get together again and we are going to do it really soon. <laughs>